Hello there. My name is Jeff Iser, and today we're making steak fajitas. So the first step for steak fajitas, you gotta take a nice blank steak and put it in a Ziploc bag that we got right here. Okay, we're gonna do that right now. Get the fork. Then I have pretty uh, measured out uh, spices over here that are in the, the recipe is a link in the description. So olive uh, oil first, uh, crushed, freshly cracked set pepper and some fresh sea salt, parsley, or cilantro if you prefer, onion and garlic powder, soy sauce. Uh, and some uh, taco seasoning, McCormick is preferred, but you can use whatever you get. Okay. The next step, this uh, this seasoning is for the um, onion and pepper. I'm going with the fajitas. Next step, we're going to do is make a put some lime juice on there. So we're going to zest the lime first into a little bowl. Use as much or as little as you, as you like, depending on how much you like lime flavoring. I'm a big lime guy. Two hours later. Probably now we're just gonna cut that out and just put raw meat on that. I don't wanna use that one. Cut it in half, like so. And we'll zest it right into the bag. Make life easier. Put it right in the bag. And we'll do the same thing with the other half of the line. Okay, now with all the, all the stuff that's in the bag, you can pick up. Okay, nice, now that's nice and mixed, mixed, you'd like to put it in the fridge for at least 30 minutes so the meat marinates. All right, we'll let that sit now. Alright, while the meat is marinating, we're going to make the peppers and onions. You don't have to do this, I wouldn't use it, but we know people like vegetables, so we're just going to use half. So I'm going to put this in a nice little Ziploc bag and put it in the fridge. Okay, so you want to get all the white shit out of here and the seeds. I'm going to cut it into a little nice size. Try to make them even, but it really just doesn't matter that much. Okay, that's good for the pepper. And I'll get a bowl and I'll just put it in there for now. And then we'll add some onion. I'm not a big onion guy myself, but it does have some nice flavor to the meat.
Yeah, that's about good. We don't need to use the rest of this. Okay, and then we're going to add to this, we're going to add to a little bit of lime juice. And again, the, um, the specifications of how much you need to put in are in the description. Salt and pepper to taste, and some paprika. We're going to mix that around. And we're also going to add a little bit of olive oil for now. Okay, and that's going to be for the peppers and onions. So the next step is going to be after the mix is marinated, we're going to let it sit to get the room temperature, and that'll take about 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do, okay, so we're going to take the meat out of the bag. Now look at that succulent piece of meat. I'm going to suck it right up. Okay, throw, out, throw out the extra stuff we didn't use. Okay, one trick that I do when I'm making fajitas is I want to make them, I want to cut them into like pieces. So like when you're, like say you're in a fajita a restaurant and you're getting fajitas, you want to cut it first by the, you cut it like this, and then you want to cut it into fours. So therefore, when you're cutting the meat, when you're actually like cutting the meat at the end, you're not going to have to cut it into big slices. And it also lets for every each person that's making this. So say I'm cutting this into four pieces for four people. Say someone likes it medium rare, someone likes it medium well, some moron who likes it well done, but they should die. But so the, this process allows you to be able to customize each meat for each select each person. So we're just going to cut it into four pieces. So me, Bob, Bob, and Bob can all have different slices, all different cuts of meat. And then we're just going to let this sit out for about half an hour to get to room temperature. Three, two, one. Okay. Now that the meat has fully rested and gotten to room temperature, we're going to put it on the grill that is both hot, clean, and greased with some oil, so it does not stick to the grill. Let's go. Now we've reached the most important part of the cooking process, and something that you've been waiting for since the start of the video, the cooking of the steak. Now steak is something that I love, and now we're gonna grill it right now, and we're gonna make sure it's evenly cooked on all sides, and we're gonna try to get like a little diamond pattern or cross cross pattern on the each cut, but with, all, with trying to avoid overcooking it. So now, open the grill, it's nice and hot. Bah! Bing! Bah! Bing! Make sure it's evenly laid out. Bah! Bing! Bah! Bing! Okay. Uh, raw meat cutting board. So now, one thing I like is that steak often gets a little, it gets stuck to the pan. So we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil on each side. And each little steak. This is gonna take it. That's nice grill mark. Look at that fire. The fire. Yes, I have I have much familiarity with this as my legs were burned off in this in a movie. You were the chosen one! It was said that you would destroy this and not join them! Bring balance to the force! And now we basically just let it cook on each side, flipping it every couple minute or so until it is both brown on the outside and a, little, and a nice soft pink color in the middle. Therefore, it's juicy and crispy, not crispy, but juicy, flavorful, and it's gonna be a great cut of meat after all. So we just let it flip, we'll flip it every once in a while, maybe add a little olive oil if you really want to make that. The flame, really the flame, get the nice flavor of the charcoal, the flavor of the grill on your meat. Okay. We are now sauteing the peppers and onions for our fajitas. So we're gonna start off with a little oil in the pan. We're gonna heat up that oil. And now we're going to wait for the oil to be hot enough so then we can put the peppers and onions in the thing. Okay, now that the oil is hot enough, we're going to put the vent on just to eliminate some of the smoke. It's going to be very loud, so I'm going to start talking louder. So we have the oil is hot enough. Bam! Cover. And now we just let it, we're going to just let this get, we're going to turn the temperature down a little bit. Because I, I left the oil on a little bit hotter, but it's always best to be said that you want it to sound like when you're putting the meat, when you're putting any 
making a new pan that's really trying to saute it. Therefore, it didn't be hot enough and the oil doesn't directly set in and it's basically more like a frying and it's just going to soak right in. So this, if it's not that long, you're going to for So you basically want to saute them up. And so they're done to your liking. Some people may like them a little bit crunchier. Some people like them where they're like a little bit squishier. Because remember, this is going in a tortilla with steak. So you know what, I'm going to do the little trick and you can flip it. We're going to turn it back off now because it's back in the medium. And then it's up there. Are you doing it? Yeah. We're going to let, let it sit for a little bit. And that's, that's basically it. Like, making peppers and onions for feet is very simple. You basically just put it in a pan with similar to the seasoning, saute it up, and you're done with it. And that's basically it. Well, that's basically it for the first thing. Once the steak is done, we're going to take it off the grill. We're going to put it on a nice plate right here. And we're going to let it rest. And the, one of the most important things when you're cooking a steak, or any meat for that matter, is, is cutting it up right after you pick it off the grill. And when you do that, you lose a lot of the vital juiciness. And the meat ends up just being dry. And you end up with a pile of blood, or a pile of chicken juice, or a pile of uh, anything, for that matter, on the plate. So you have to let it rest. And letting it rest makes the meat juicy and succulent. It sucks. And now we're going to go back inside, let it rest, and we're going to start serving. Hello there. Back away! I will deal with this Jedi sack myself! Your move. Sack my dick! <laughs> sack, 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 sack. <laughs> Alright, now that the peppers and onions are done to your liking, please, uh, make sure that they're not any, any stuck in any stuck the peppers and onions are not stuck in the pan, so just you know, do it like that. Make sure you turn the thing of burner off. Nicely put it in the bowl. And you basically want to do this while the steak is on the grill. Also, yes, turn off the, this, this thingy. So, okay, and then you just put it in the pan and just let it sit. You're basically going to be doing this while the steak is cooking. So then when it's done, when the steak is done and this is done, you're just going to put it all together, serve it up, and bing, bada, boom! Alright, now that the meat is rested, it's time to cut it up. We're going to just cut it up into little slices. Right there, beautiful piece of meat. And just remember, I'm just saying, you can cut, you can cook it to your liking, likeness. This is a little, maybe, maybe this might be a little too pink for some people, or maybe it's a little over to some others. But it's, it's all subjective here. As long as it tastes good, that's really all that matters. Okay, we're just going to cut up, we'll just cut up one serving for argument's sake here. We're not going to cut it all up. Just say it's only you and your girlfriend, and, you, and you're not going to make eat all of it. You're going to put some up for leftovers after the pizza rolls and the uh, stuff on the couch. Okay, so now we have the steak. We're going to put a, we're just going to make things into like individual servings here, so everyone can kind of pick and choose what they want. So I'm just going to, I'm going to get a couple bowls here. And uh, I have a guest with me today. I'm not going to say his name because, you know, why would I? I'm just going to put everything in a little bowl. And uh, he likes with his fajitas, you know, nice tortillas, obviously. I'm going to put nice meat. I'm going to put some uh, nice shredded cheese in another bowl. Nice like that. And we got he likes hot sauce. Weirdo. Okay. And then that's basically it. And I'm going to show you my friend's reaction to eating this. But that'll be at the end of the video. And uh, we are there now, so. Hey Francisco, how do you like it to fajita? <laughs> <laughs>